Thank you everyone for joining us today. Today's live event, uh, I'm going to be going over our new product, the CP-475, which is a uh, cable pulley, low voltage cable pulleys. They come in a set of two. And I'm also going to uh, go over our CC-5442 double decker cable caddy. Uh, my name is Ed Serbona. I am the Senior Director of Engineering here at Jonard. And with me today, I have Carmen Chung, who is going to be fielding questions, anything that comes up and throwing them my way. And as always, I have Mike Baptiste, uh, who's running this whole production. You might hear me conversing with them as we're going along. Mike is just trying to make sure I stay in the, the proper position and keeping me on track. A uh, little house cleaning to do here. Please take a moment to uh, like our Facebook page and go to jonard.com forward slash live to enter a contest to win a set of CP-475 cable pulleys. So with that, let me get started. So, the cable pulleys themselves, let me describe it, that we call them low voltage cable pulleys because they're not designed to carry heavy cables or the like. They're designed to carry lighter, smaller cables. Um, it can carry up to 20 Cat5, Cat6 cables. The wheel is on, bearing, uh, is on bearings and is made of ABS plastic has steel arms and a steel uh, swivel hook here to make it easy movement as you're pulling your cable along. So a quick little demo. I have a set of 11 Cat5 cables here. I'm just simply going to slide the cables through. and just slide it over to the other side. The whole object of these is to act as helping hands, like if you're running a bundle of cable like this through a warehouse. So it allows you to be able to do that a lot easier than going one by one, or if having multiple people there, if it's just you and maybe one other person, this makes life a little easier. And literally, just, just that easy. So, cable pulley, as you can see, just sitting here. If it was me doing this, I would probably uh, have these, if I was in a warehouse, probably have them about six to 10 feet apart. Probably no longer than that, you just probably get too much sag in the cable, and shorter than that, you're not really helping yourself. But they swivel, so you can turn 90 degrees, you can set them up on an angle like this right here. I happen to be hanging them from an eyelet. I put in this two by four stud here and I'm using an S beaner to hold it in place. You don't have to do that. You can use a cable tie. Matter of fact, you could use a cable tie off a steel beam and just cable tie the clip there and it makes it real easy. The clip allows you to Take the pulley off if you need, or if you need to, drop one arm, okay, so that you can lift the cable bundle out. Very handy tool. I, I, I think they, they're a great addition to our product line because it just makes life a lot simpler. So, that's the CP475. I'm gonna take this cable bundle out, put it aside. And the other product I'd like to show you today is our CC5442 double decker cable caddy. Okay, I have it right here. And the cable caddy itself, two bars, both 5 8 inch solid steel. The cable caddy itself can hold up to 100 pounds. You can hold, it can hold the maximum of 12 inch diameter reels double deckered. So you can have a larger reel, you just need a smaller reel either lower or above it. 
Again, very helpful, allows you to pull multiple cables. The whole, the whole concept of this was to allow you to pull more cables. Here I just happen to have two just for demo purpose and just works uh, fantastic. A um, couple more features on that has uh, rubber pads on the bottom to keep it from sliding as you're pulling. You still don't want to, if you have a lot of tension on it, you still want to relieve some of that tension. Chain on the bottom here to help keep it stable. Pin, just pull it out, slide the rod, take your, your reel off, put a new reel on. That's a CC-5442. Any questions? Oh, Carmen. Okay, Carmen's feeding a question to me. How many cables can you pull at a time? I'm going to assume that cable, that question is referring to the cable pulley. So uh, I mentioned when I was talking about the cable pulley, it can hold a maximum of up to 20 uh, Cat5, Cat6 uh, cables. So that gives you an idea of the size of the bundle. So that bundle would be almost double the size of the bundle that I have here because this is actually, I think I said Cat5, it is Cat6 cable. So they're, they're basically the same size. Depends. Okay. How much weight can one pulley hold? Okay, so can hold about 20 uh, Cat5, Cat6 cables. The way I like to say it, it can hold more than that because you can run RG6 cables, you can run uh, uh, coax cables through this. The way I like to say this is they're not a block and tackle system. You're not pulling an engine out of a car with these. They're designed to be helping hands for you. So they'll hold whatever low voltage cable can actually fit in here with no problem whatsoever. Another question uh, came up. How far apart do you place these pulleys? Uh, I said as I was doing my brief in, uh, presentation on it, I would tend to put them six to 10 feet apart. You put it more than 10 feet apart, you're just going to get too much sag in the cable bundle. And that's also dependent on how many cables are in that bundle. Because otherwise, you're, you end up fighting the, uh, the cable constantly sagging. So you don't want to do that. So a good measure is six to 10 feet, so, okay? Oh, <laughs> great question. So here's a question. How do you get the pulleys back once you're done pulling? You get the pulleys back the same way you put, put them up. So let's say you're on a, that you put them, hung them on a 12 foot, using a 12 foot ladder. You're going to go back up there, cut the, cut your cable tie or unclip your S beaner from the hook here and get your, your pulleys back. Carmen has a couple more questions, I think. How are they in cold environments? That's a great question. We hit minus 40 C at times. Will they hold up? The, the answer is yes, okay, as long as there's, obviously in this case, there's nothing getting into the bearings themselves. The, the plastic is designed to work in, in temperatures like that. Yes, they're going to be more brittle. Um, so there is an aspect, you don't want to drop it in that temperature range, but uh, there should be no problem with them whatsoever. That's it. That was actually a great question. So, okay. So with that, if there's no other questions, uh, let me close this out by again, reminding you to like our Facebook page, 
Go to jonar.com forward slash live to enter our contest to win a set of CP-475s. And thank you very much for watching today.